Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is my new location right now. I'm making this video from Sofia, Bulgaria, and uh, I'm very happy because on my channel, we have a community of nearly 1K subscribers. I want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed. And as a gesture from my side, we are going to create another React project. We will create football videos app. We will fetch some data from an API, display nice looking uh, images in a cart mode. And when we click on an image, we will be able to see the match previews. So stay tuned and let's roll the demo right now. And this is the application we are going to create. As you can see, we have a nice looking grid of cards uh, coming from an API. And if I click on, for example, that one, Arsenal uh, versus Brentford, uh, we will be taken to an external page where we will be able to preview the highlights from, uh, from the match from yesterday. And it's very, very nice. And we're gonna be creating this uh, using uh, React, React Hooks and this API from scorebad.com. I hope you like the demo. If this is your first time watching, my name is Yusman. I'm a self-taught web developer and I make content about web development. And if that's a topic that really interests you, I recommend you to subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. Without any further delay, let's open VS Code now and start creating this fantastic project from scratch. Okay, so VS Code is open and I have created a brand new project with uh, npx create react app and uh, here inside app.js we have uh, the basic uh, react.js outcome and I'm going to start a server right now. I'm going to open a terminal on my MacBook and I'm just going to say npm start to start my local development server. So npm npm start and that's going to open the project on localhost 3000 by default so any moment it will pop up in my browser in chrome uh, let's uh, open the browser and here this one scorebot.com is the api we are going to use i found this very interesting and it's completely free uh, well some endpoints here are uh, they have some limit, uh, meaning that uh, in order to use that one right here, you have to uh, get to the higher uh, higher point and uh, you know sign for something else. But we are going to use this one right here, recent feed, which will give us some uh, some information about uh, the videos. So you will see how we will do this. And uh, when you sign up. When you sign up, you, you have to just put your email and you will get an API key uh, and you will be able to see it right here. So video, uh, video API access token is uh, this one and you will be able, you will be able to, to use it. Okay. So this is my profile right now. And we can see that the React project is uh, starting on localhost 3000 as well. Uh, so let's wait until this is uh, started so that we can continue uh, with working on the project. It's taking unusual time to start it. I don't know why, uh, but let's uh, let's remove this header right here from the boilerplate which React gives us, and let's also remove everything inside inside. Uh, CSS file, the app.css uh, up to right here. So let's leave the app. And for the app, uh, let's say width 100% and height 100%. Okay. And let's do some reset as well. So I'm going to say star box sizing border box, box size and border box and margin to be zero and padding, padding to be zero as well. And I'm going to save this file right now. And I'm going to also save the app.js file. And when I open my Google Chrome, you will see that it should give us a blank, a blank, uh, web page. Let's see. 
again it's taking so much time let's also remove that uh, logo import so I'm gonna remove this logo import right here and I'll wait so I'm gonna save and still compiling this is strange come on let's see all right so it compiled we have uh, we see that we have nothing right here and I'm gonna install a package because we will need that so I'm gonna open another terminal right here and I'm gonna say npm npm install axios and I'm gonna install that axios package and right here in the source folder I'm gonna create a folder called components so I'm gonna say components and inside the components I'll create three other components so first one will be navbar.jsx and the second one will be footer.jsx and the third one will be content.jsx okay and let's start with the navbar so first of all let's create a functional component so I'm gonna use the shortcuts I have so I'm gonna type rfca and that's gonna create this functional component for me and I will import the CSS file as well so I'm gonna say import uh, dot dot slash and that's gonna be the app.css file right here okay and I'm gonna I'm gonna hit prefy right here and I'm gonna copy this thing and I'm gonna open footer and I'm gonna paste it right here and I'm gonna change this to be footer so uh, footer oops with capital so footer and this one will be footer as well so footer footer and let's give this a class name so class name of footer and save the same for navbar we forgot to do that so div class name to be navbar okay and here on the navbar we will say uh, div class name navbar will have an h1 which will say football videos app and we need, we're gonna grab an emoji so I'm gonna I'm gonna search for football emoji so football emoji and I'm going to copy this one right here so I'm gonna copy it and come back and paste it right here just like that and I'm gonna save and I'm gonna go here on footer and on the footer I will just say a paragraph so p tag football app football videos app 2022 and percent copy just like that and I'm gonna save the footer as well and inside the content I will create uh, the content so RFCA as well and I will just import the uh, style.css file as well so import from app CSS okay now after we do that uh, we can go back to app.js and we can import those components so I'm gonna say import navbar from that component that slash components navbar and import footer footer from the same folder and import content so content from the same folder and right here inside this, this diff with the class name of app I will start displaying those components by saying just like that navbar we will have the content so content right here and the footer on the on the bottom so footer just like that and 
when I save this file right now, and if I open my browser, after it's compiled, we will be able to see the navbar and the footer and the content. So here is the navbar, that's the content, and that's the footer. And now let's do some basic styling so that we can uh, have the uh, differentiation between them. Um, so here for the navbar, I'm going to say dot navbar, and that's going to have a width, width of 100%, height of 10vh, background of uh, black, the color, so color will be white, the display of this will be flex, we will justify the content into the center, and align items into the center, and text align to the center, all right? And when I save this, you will be able to see that we have the navbar styled, okay? Let's do the same for the footer. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna copy this. I'm just gonna copy this and paste it right here and I'm gonna change that to footer, all right? So footer, just like that. And you will see the footer right here. But the content is in the middle, so we want to, uh, we want to expand this and we want the footer to become on the to come to the bottom of the page so to the way to do that we'll be just saying uh, content so content let's go back to content.jsx and let's give this uh, let's give this a class name so class name of content dash container content container and save and here we can say content dash container and we can give this a width so width of 100% and a minimum height of uh, 80 VH so I'm gonna say 80 VH and when I do that you will see that the footer will go to the bottom of the viewport so technically this is taking so the whole page is 100 VH and this is taking 10 VH and this is taking 80 VH and this is taking 10 VH which in total makes 100 VH okay viewport height uh, now we are ready to begin with uh, getting the data from the API and displaying the, the videos right here so I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna I'm gonna import a couple of hooks that we will need so uh, we will import uh, use state hook so use 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 state and use effect okay so use effect and use state and right here i will define a couple of states so the first one will be const um, data and set data which we will populate that uh, with the data we're coming getting from the api and that will be use state so use state and that will be an empty array by default. Uh, what else we will have? Uh, Constate and actually we will just have that, I believe. So just the data and use state. And what we're gonna do now? So basically, uh, we will import Axios. So import Axios from Axios just like that and right here we will say use effect so use effect and when the component is mounted to the DOM for the first time we will provide an empty dependency list and here we will do the following so we're gonna say axios and for the method we will say get so get for the method and the URL the URL of the API that we're gonna use will be so I'm gonna say I'm gonna specify URL just like that and I'm gonna open backticks and I'm gonna I'm gonna go here 
on my profile actually right here on uh, video dash appy that slash and I'm gonna copy this URL right here alright I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna paste this right here but I will replace your API token with my token and you can do that as well for yours so I'm gonna grab my token from here I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it right here all right after that I will say that then and we'll have a response and I will console lock that response so res that data res that data and let's see what we have so far so I'm gonna save this it's gonna compile and after it's compiled I'm gonna open my inspect tools developer tools and I'm gonna go to the console and I'm gonna see an object and I, I will have a key with response which holds our data and we can see that we have 80 89 objects and if I expand one of the uh, one of those we will see I'm sorry competition uh, competition URL date match view URL title videos and you can expand this and you can see that it gives us uh, other options as well uh, but uh, we will create that very simple we will create uh, an image which if uh, which we click on it will take us to the preview of this match view URL okay uh, so I will do the following now uh, I will continue to say uh, that catch so if we have an error I'll say error and we will lock the error so console lock error and that will be all and after this console lock we can say set data to be res that data dot response because we have that response key all right so we can say response and that will populate our array of uh, data with the response from the api and after we do that right here on this uh, content container uh, div inside it we can do the following we can we can do the following we can say curly braces and we can say data that map and we can say item right here and for each item I'm gonna display a div all right so div okay and this div this div will hold another div which will hold the name of the of the match and below this div we will have another div which will hold the, which will hold the image so i'm going to give this a class name so this one will be class name of uh, item div okay item div uh, this one will be with the class name of item item heading okay and this one will have the class name of item image okay and for the key of this for the key of this div so i'm going to say key we will provide item dot let's see which one we can pick up uh let's say the title because the title will most probably be different we don't have an index we don't have an id right here but we can use the title because that one will be different for all of them so we can say title and for the item heading we can say uh, h4 h4 and we can say uh, title so title uh, item so i'm gonna say item 
the title and for the item image div inside this item image div we will say image source image source and we're gonna say alt and the alt will be alt will be hash just like that and item image and this image will be the um, image dot thumbnail okay image dot thumbnail uh, item dot thumbnail I'm sorry item dot thumbnail just like that and when I save everything now and when I uh, reload this when I uh, compile the project and then go back right here we will see all the all the images uh, all the images as we created that which is fantastic so you can see all of them and now we are going to do some styling okay so let's go back right here and in the, inside the app CSS let's style uh, just Let's start the images first. So image, so each image will have a width of 250 pixels and height of 250 pixels. Um, and uh, each image will have a border of one pixel solid. Um, that's gonna be a red color. But in order for me to grab the red color, I will just provide black and then I will hover over that. And I'm gonna just pick up a red color, maybe that one. Um, Let's see. Yeah, let's uh, grab this one. And let's see. So let it compile. But I don't want this. Okay. I want this color. And each image will have a border radius. So border radius of five pixels, I would say and let's save and come back and let's see what we have okay so we have those we have those and uh, let's continue styling the content container so content container will be uh, with uh, uh, display of uh, grid so grid and grid template columns will be repeat for 1fr and we'll say justify justify items to the center just like that and let's save and see what we have now we can see the items move to the center and they are in a very nice grid uh, we can come back and we can say so remember we had this uh, item diff item heading and item image so item diff item div so that's a class name item div um, item div okay item div will be with uh, display flex flex direction column so column uh, text align center and let's see what we have so item div and we can see that they moved but overall I want some uh, margin between those so I'm gonna say uh, margin 20 pixels top and bottom and zero left and right and after I save we'll have some nice margin right here all right and uh, let's do the hovering effect so um, let's say item diff So item item diff when we hover over the item diff we want to transform scale 1.1 and here we can say transition transition of all 0.5 seconds ease and when we save and come back and we hover 
you can see that nice transitioning effect all right so this one is this one is uh, done we have created the grid and what is left on that right now is to click on the image and open that match uh, match preview highlights okay um, the way to do that let's open again the developer tools and let's see how was the name of this element so I'm gonna go to the console and I'm gonna reload this so I'm gonna reload this and we'll have this response with array and then let's see which one is that so it's uh, I think it's the match view match view URL so I'm gonna copy this key right now and I'm gonna close my developer tools and come back right here and on the content.gsx uh, on the div so item div I'm gonna say on click so on the on click event on click event we will fire a function which will say window dot open and we're gonna say item dot match view URL just like that and I will save this and after it's compiled if we click on some match right here let's say match the city Tottenham Hotspur uh, and I click on this and we see that it, it opens a new tab right here and we can play the video highlights which is fantastic uh, let's let's see I didn't watch the game yesterday but uh, I'm curious what happened so so Tottenham bit three goals wow and you can see that it's playing and we can see that this website is giving us some fantastic data back and that was it guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope it helped you to learn a bit about react.js how to use react hooks and how to fetch data from an api uh, thank you so much for watching again i see you again in the future